you can draw this and procreate or this or this or maybe this during this super easy procreate tutorial i will guide you through the steps of creating your own unique cute creature. You can make your own decision at every step along the way. I'll show you how you can create a variety of noses, paws and tails. So the possibilities for your creature are endless. During this Procreate tutorial you will also learn about the basic features like working with layers, layer clipping mask, making use of layer masks and using the symmetry tool. So this tutorial is perfect if you're just starting out using Procreate but it's also a lot of fun if you are already a seasoned flow creator. Since the possibilities are endless, I am super curious to see your version, your outcome. So don't forget to share it, just like my friends at Patreon did. Just check out these fantastic tutorial results. At Patreon, you can actually find more than 150 Procreate tutorials. And they range from beginner level to more advanced levels, and they cover a wide variety of subjects and styles. This week, we created this Art Nouveau style fox, for instance. But now let's get started creating your own unique creature. For this tutorial, I'm working on a canvas that is 2,500 pixels by 2,500 pixels, and I have linked a color palette in the description with some suggestions for colors for your creature. But of course, feel free to pick your own. And then if you're ready, let's get started. We'll start off with our creature's body. We're keeping it really simple. For our brush, we will use the monoline brush, which you can find under calligraphy. And for the color, we will use black. I have put it in the color palette here, the second color in the first row. And the opacity of the brush should be at 100% and I'll set the size to 30%. And I will just draw a circle like this. Hold your pen in place, then tap one finger on the screen for a perfectly round circle like this. And then we'll go to the arrow up here to move and transform tool. And then here at the bottom, make sure you have snapping turned on and then make sure that you place your circle in the vertical center and you can place it a little bit below the horizontal center like this. And I will tab the arrow again. And now it's time to turn on the symmetry tool. We need to go to the wrench, then to canvas, then turn on drawing guide here, then tap edit drawing guide. And then here at the bottom, turn on symmetry and then tab done. And when you go to your layer menu, you will see that this layer on which we have our circle is assisted. That means that symmetry is turned on and that whatever we do on the left side, will also happen on the right side. And what we are going to do is use the liquify tool. We'll go to the magic wand and then to liquify. Make sure you set it to push with pressure to max, distortion and momentum set to none. And we can turn up the size perhaps to 70%. Let's check. You can see we can move the size. We can push and pull. And I will create the shape of our creature. I'm going to make the bottom part a little bit more flat and pull up the top part. And this is where you can decide the shape of your creature. Maybe you want it to be quite long or maybe a bit more squished. You can go for whatever you like. I'll go for a shape like this and tap the magic wand to get out of here. And then we'll go back to the layer menu and then make a new layer on top of this one. So tap the plus and now to use symmetry on this layer, tap the new layer and then use drawing assist. Tap drawing assist. So this layer is assisted as well. And we are going to start off by creating ears. I'll show you a couple of shapes that you can use, but of course you can also use your own imagination. For instance, we could make these long, ears like this or we can make ears like this more like bunny ears or we could even go for something like antennas make a line like this and then add a circle on this side to create an alien creature perhaps but i would like to go for these rounded ears more like bear ears you can hold your pen in place for a nice rounded, perfect shape. And then I'll also make a line inside. You can also do that if you have decided to create, let me tap edit here. If you have decided to create the bunny ears, for instance, 
you can adjust the shape a little bit like this and then just tap the brush for instance to get out of the little menu at this point you can decide if you want to keep that line across the ears or if you want to remove these parts over here let's just zoom in a little bit let's tap and hold the eraser to make it switch to the model line brush now i have a little part sticking out here for instance on that ear and then i'd like to go to our body layer layer one and then with the eraser you can erase these parts to make the ears attach to the body and then once you're happy with your ears you can pinch them together with the body now let's make another layer let's tap the plus and again tap the new layer and turn on drawing assist and now we are going to create the nose and mouth and for the brush i'd like to switch to the script brush over here and for this brush the harder you press the thicker your line will become like this so you have a little bit more control the opacity of this brush should be at 100 percent and i have the size set to 12 percent and i have different options for your nose you could go for something that is a bit rounded and you could make a mouth like this or you could make something that is a bit more like flat and perhaps with a simple mouth like this but i'll go for a tiny little nose like this and give it a simple smile next let's add the eyes let's do that on a new layer let's tap the plus tap the new layer turn on drawing assist and then let's go back to the model line brush now let's zoom out just a little bit and then draw a circle over here hold your pen in place tap one finger on the screen for a perfectly round circle and then you can tap circle here at the top and you can move the eyes around and that way you can really check what look you like for your creature I will go for something like this and then you can drag in the color if you're happy with how it looks you can merge these layers together by pinching them like this then let's tap the plus for another layer and let's set that to drawing assist again and let's go back to the script brush now it's time to add pause for the pause again you have different options you could go for little ovals like this you can simply hold your pen in place to make it snap to the quick shape and of course you can go to edit and move them around to see where you want these paws to be or you could go for paws like this and don't worry about that line going through the paws of course we are going to remove that later so you could go for this but for the paws i will go for something like this and i'll add little toes then to make it more tidy we can go back to layer one here grab the eraser and then get rid of that line so the paws are nicely attached to the body then once you're happy you can pinch these together again tap the plus for a new layer and set it to drawing assist again now you can decide if you want your creature to have whiskers be sure to grab your brush then you could go for something simple like this two little whiskers that are fairly straight or you could go for curved whiskers or you could go for no whiskers at all my creature won't have any whiskers but perhaps yours will and then once you're happy with your whiskers you can merge the layers together again it will make another layer we'll tap the plus this time we won't use symmetry because now we can add some stuff that isn't symmetrical for instance you can add stuff to the head maybe you have a alien creature or a plant-like creature and it has these little leaves on top of its head or maybe you want to add some fur like this or maybe you would like to add another antenna i will go for some hair just a pointy shape like this 
And then you can go back to the body layer to make sure that you turn off drawing assist, then grab the eraser and get rid of any part that you want to get rid of. I want this hair to nicely attach to the body and I'll leave this little line. Now on that layer on which we have created the hair, we can also add other elements. Let's grab the brush. You can add a little tail, for instance. You could go for a cat-like tail or maybe a bunny-like tail or maybe something more like a raccoon-like tail. I will go for this one. Then I'll merge the layers together by pinching them. And I can continue adding elements to your creature. Use your imagination or you can move on to the coloring stage. And before we do that, I want to make the lines a little bit thicker. Because we use liquify on the body, some lines are a little bit thin. I want them to be nice and thick. So let's go to the layer menu and let's first turn on drawing assist again so we can make it nice and symmetrical in the places that are symmetrical. And then we'll just rotate and go along the bottom area, for instance, make a nice thick line along the body. Or perhaps you want your creature to have thinner lines. That's fine as well, of course. Every creature will be unique. Then over here we have the hair that's not symmetrical, so leave that for now. The tail is also not symmetrical, but the paws are. Can make that a little bit thicker. Now we can just turn off symmetry by going to the layer, tapping it, and turning off drawing assist. And we can just refine some of these lines and put more emphasis there. Then for the tail. That's nice. Then let's turn off our vertical line. We don't need that anymore. Let's go to the wrench, then to canvas turn off the drawing guide, and then let's go ahead and color our creature. I have linked a color palette in the description with a bunch of colors that you can use for your creature, but of course you can feel free to use your own colors. These are just some suggestions. Now for my creature, I would like to use this one over here, third color in the second row. And to easily color, we are going to tap this line art layer, and we are going to set it to reference. Now we can make a new layer by tapping the plus. Let's drag it underneath by tapping and holding. And now on this layer, we can simply drag in the color to fill the body of our creature. Then you can tap continue filling if you're fast enough, or just drag in the color again. Then let's tap it. And then you can tap anywhere you like to fill other areas. Now I'd like to fill the ears and the nose on a separate layer. So we can just go to the layer menu, tap the plus, then for the ears, I'd like to use a pink. Let's go for this one, fourth color in the third row. Let's drag it in. And then for the nose, let's add a brown. We'll use this one, fourth color in the second row. Let's drag it in. Next, you can add some patterns or extra detail to your creature. An easy way to do that is by going to the body color layer, for instance, and then tapping the plus, then tapping that new layer and setting it to clipping mask. Then let's make sure that we turn off reference on this line art layer. Let's tap it, turn off reference, then go back to this clip layer. And for instance, I want to use this brown to add a little bit of detail to these paws. I'll add a little bumpy line and then I can drag in the color. I also want to add some stripes to this tail. And you can add whatever you like to your creature. Maybe it has dots or stripes. Let me drag this in here. And then let me grab a lighter color. I'll grab this one, second color in the second row. 
And for instance, you can add a light patch to its belly or to its face. You could go for something like this. And then when you close it, you can fill in the area. Or you can go for something smaller and just color the belly. Another nice idea would be to grab a white, for instance, third color in the first row, and add some light to these cheeks over here. But for mine, I'll leave it like this. Then let's add rosy cheeks. Let's do that on a new layer. Let's tap the plus. And to make them symmetrical, let's tap this layer and use drawing assist again. Then for the color, I'd like to use this one, third color in the third row. And for the brush, I'll grab the monoline brush. And then you can simply make a little oval like this. Hold your pen in place. If you go to edit, you can move it around and adjust it a little bit to find the perfect placement. And then drag in the color. And to fade them a little bit, I'd like to use the smudge tool. That's the little finger up here. Let's tap it to grab a brush. I'd like to go to the airbrushing brushes and use the soft brush. Now the opacity or the smudge strength is at, well, let's set that to 60. And the size, let's set that to 6. And then you can just make a smudge like this. Very gentle, smudge it out. Now that we have all these colored elements, all these patterns, we can merge these layers together. Let's pinch them. And then at the top of the layers on top of our line art, let's make a new layer. Let's tap the plus. And for the brush, we will go back to the script brush. And for the color, we'll just grab this white. Third color in the first row. And now you can decide what kind of highlight you want for the eyes. You could go for a simple little dot, or you could go for two little highlights. Just make sure you put the highlight on the same side for both eyes. Then let's also add highlight to the body. We'll go back to our colored layer, then tap the plus, and then set this new layer to clipping mask. I can see that we have these highlights on the left side of the eyes, so the highlights on the body should also be on the left side. Unless you have added the highlights for the eyes on the right side, of course, then you need to put the highlights on the right side. So we can put a highlight on this side of the body and on the ear here and a little bit on the hair. Like this and on this side of the ear and on this side of the tail, we can also add a little bit. Next, I want to fade these a little bit, make them merge a bit more with the creature. And to do that, we are going to make use of a layer mask. You can tap this layer then tap mask and you'll see this white layer mask attached to these light lines. Now on this white layer mask, we can paint with black to block parts of these highlights. We'll go to the brushes, then to airbrushing and use the soft brush. And you need to have the color set to black. Now, the opacity of this brush is at 60% and the size is at 20. And now you can gently go over this lower area, for instance, and gently fade this a little bit at the top using very light pressure. And you can see how you can gently fade these highlights. Then let's do something similar for the shadow. The highlight is on this left side, so the shadow should be on the lower right side. We'll create the shadow by making a new layer. We'll tap the plus. Then we'll set this new layer to clipping mask as well, so that our colors, our paint will only show up on the body. And for the brush, we will go back to the calligraphy brushes, use the script. And for the color of your shadow, you can use the same color as the base body color. So you can tap and hold that area to grab that color. And now when you go to your layer menu and tap the N here, you can change the layer blending mode. If you scroll up to multiply and you paint on this area, you won't see this color, but you will see like a multiplication of this color so it gets darker. We are going to make use of that and create a shadow 
on the opposite side of the highlight. You can drag in a color, also make a shadow on the tail, and perhaps also a little bit on the ear, on the hair, and you could even add some on the inside of the ear because that's because that's also a bit blocked. Then you can add a layer mask again. You can go to the layer menu, tap your shadow layer, add a mask, then grab the soft brush again under airbrushing. And you can gently go over these sides and make it fade a little bit. A little bit on this side. It may, it'll make it more subtle. And finally, we'll add a little drop shadow underneath our creature. Let's tap the plus for a new layer and drag it all the way to the bottom. Then for our brush, we will go to the calligraphy brushes and use the monoline brush. And for the color, I'd like to use this one. First color in the first row. Let's zoom out a little bit and make an oval shape underneath your creature. Hold your pen in place. Hold one finger on your screen to make sure that it's horizontal. Go for something like this. Then drag in the color. And then when you go to the Move and Transform tool and set it to Freeform, you can change it a bit, maybe make it a bit more flat. I'll pull it up a little bit and go for something like this. Then you can tap the arrow and your creature is done. Now, unless you have followed all of my steps and made the same choices, your creature will look absolutely unique. The possibilities are endless. Maybe yours will look a bit like this or this, or maybe a bit like this one. I don't know. So make sure to share your version. I would love to see it. And if you want to continue and follow even more tutorials, then I think you might like this tutorial next. I would like to thank you for watching and I will see you next time for the next tutorial.